Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was listen. Listen, listen, listen. Gotta got a bitch, I lean. Yeah. On my shot, we lit. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto. Back at it again, man, every day, you know. And, uh, shit. Just want to say, man, thanks. Oh, 500 super quick, yo. I thought that was going to be, like, at the weekend or something, man. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so, um, like I said, you know, let's, let's hit that first before we do all of this. Like you guys love. Telegram, yo. Familia, if you're watching this right now, dude, just go down in the comments real quick, yo. Hit me up. I need a name, yo. What are we going to call the group? You know, uh, one of the homies was saying uh, to call that shit uh, LA Crypto Community or something like that, you know. But that was like, that's pretty generic. And as of right now, that's like the only name. So, like I said, guys, you know, if you guys have seen it right now, just drop down real quick. Comments, throw a name. If you guys like that, you know, put it. If not, you know, throw your own. And like I said, whatever one has the most likes, um, that's going to be the name of the group, all right? So, I'm going to let that shit run, and most likely tonight, um, let me see, like, right now it's 6, so probably around, like, midnight and 6 hours, whatever one has the most likes, like I said, I'm going to put the name, and then I'm, I'm going to update the uh, description, and, you know, all of that good stuff, and for sure I'll have another video out tomorrow, alright? But, uh, yeah, man, with that being said, yo, hey, gracias, y'all, like, I appreciate that, alright? I hope you guys are getting exactly what you guys want. You know, I hope you guys are learning stuff. I hope you guys are, you know, making money moves, figuring out what's going on. And, um, yeah, man, let's just get to it, all right? <laughs> so, uh, first things first. Ooh, spring rolls, yo. Spring rolls took off. Um, I'll show you a little uh, clip of me picking up in the morning. This dump was crazy. I actually uh, bought in some more right now. So, I, I sold off the harvest, what was up at the top. And then I bought in uh, down here. Actually, no, I bought in up here. Like, yeah, 180 something. I, I didn't get the full bottom, but I still bought in right here. And then I threw more into the, uh, you know, to the rolls. I knew it was going to bounce back up and shit. But, um, yeah, man, I'll throw a little clip of me uh, selling uh, in the morning. I actually harvested spring rolls. And then I harvested vanilla cake. And maybe another one, whatever. But, you know, my homie woke me up, you know. Me and him, you know, we cool about this money shit. You know, he let me know shit was at, at the peak. And, yeah, man, I just woke up straight up. I think it was like 4 some in the morning, almost 5 in the morning. Yeah, man, harvest, harvest, harvest. Yeah, talking. Like I said, I just went back to sleep. So I'll play that real quick for y'all.
All right, y'all. So like uh, like y'all saw, man, I was able to pull some nice little harvest, dude. Money was up, you know, vanilla. I think it was like, uh, you guys saw it was like 65, you know, it was up there. So right now it's down low. So like I always tell you guys, you know, you guys always want to sell when it's high, you know, and then just harvest and then just keep farming when it's low. Same thing with like uh, uh, spring rolls, you know, spring rolls are now down, you know, $2 and shit, you know, that shit was up, you know. So like I said, you guys always want to try to, you know, follow the wave. If you guys buy down low, you know, just continue farming, farm it all the way up, you know. If you guys really need to pull out the bag, pull out the bag, you know. So which you guys know me, I like to pull out three fourths of the bag, leave the rest for free. But um, yeah, man. Once I saw it dump out here, I knew I still wasn't gonna leave no matter what. So, you know, like I said, that spring rolls bag is free because um, everything that actually came from here was actually free coming uh, from here after I had already paid this shit off, and you know, I was just stacking the the rolls. I just started throwing it over here. So this is basically free, and this is you know pushing out some more. So. Like I said, you know, right now they're pumping it back up. It's just looking good. I'm pretty happy on that, you know. But, um, yeah, man, we'll keep it moving. Space Dumpling, same thing. He's been super steady, super chill. Uh, I'm still running on the freebie. The freebie's over here. You know, I'm still chilling. Um, the original shit, you know, I'd already pulled out, but this is where I was sitting. And, you know, I'm just going to let it sit here and just pull me more freebie stuff. Wait for another little spike, and then, you know, maybe I'll pull out depending on what's up, but... Like I said, you know, this is just free money, just like with Gator. So, uh, Gator over here, same thing, you know, just free money. I compounded what uh what I got. I think Gator was like 17, 18 cents or something like that, right? Like, yeah, 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 it was like 17, 18. So, I just sold what it was on the harvest, and then I compounded, and then I was just letting it sit. And then uh, I sold some a little bit earlier. I kind of needed, a, you know, a couple dollars to... Like I said, you know, you guys always want to keep some BNB in your account right here for uh, transactions. And, you know, once you start doing a whole bunch of transactions and you're on a whole bunch of fucking farms, dude, you got to keep track of your transaction fees. So, yeah, man, hopefully that helps with that. But, yeah, man, vanilla, sweet, dude. I'm loving it. You already know I love yellow cake. And then uh, papaya, you know I, know, I know I haven't talked a lot about it, but I'm actually going to do another whole video all about it, dude. I've been farming the whole time. And, um, dude, it's been good, yo, like, like, you already know me, you know, once I pull out all that money, I, I like to leave freebie, um, amount in here, and, yeah, dude, like, every, uh, hundred, that's, like, like, 18 bucks or something, or, like, yeah, 17, 18 bucks, same thing with this, uh, papaya, you know, that's freebie, you know, I, obviously, it's not a lot, but, like I said, I always like to make a whole bunch of money, and then just, boom, leaving a cool little amount that I could just let farm for free, and if anything happens to the, you know, to the farm, or if the price goes down, Oh, wow, you know, it's not a big loss. It's basically just free money. So, uh, yeah, man, we'll just keep it moving again. And then, uh, you know, what I'll do is <clears throat> a whole bunch of you guys, you know, you guys were asking about different farms, so I'm going to start running through them. Um, we'll, uh, we'll start with the uh, Marsh. I actually thought the homie was talking about Marshmallow, but I guess this one's another one, a Marsh uh, fucking Mallow. This one's pretty chill. Um, it's just a normal uh, farm and shit, you know. What I did like is, uh, if you see here, they're supposed to be having these automatic, you know, rolls and, you know, automatic deflationary shit. So, that's always cool when you see that. You know, like I always said, it's always good when they're trying to keep their price stable. You know, that's what they're saying. This measure to, you know, just try to keep that shit stable. So, that kind of shit is cool. You know, besides that, you know, everything else is pretty regular. So, um, you know, if you guys are just ready to bounce out, you guys wanted to look at another farm, you guys can check this one out. For like, uh, I guess, variety-wise, it's not too crazy, but, you know, at least they're not sticking you nonstop with marsh and shit, you know. Like, there, there's going to be some farms where it's like, you're limited, you know, you only got like two or three things. But, you know, this one on the pool side is pretty chill. I don't see my favorite, you know, I already know cake, I don't see it, but it's all good. So, like I said, um, the docks are going to be down here on the side. That's kind of the roadmap, whatever. They talk about everything down here on the sides, on what they're doing. It's basically all about the same thing, you know, anti-whale measures, how they're trying to do burns and everything. A um, couple things to know, you know, there's no harvest lock. It doesn't look like there's no harvest lock. So just in case, you know, you guys wanted to mess around with that or whatever, you know, for the big dogs, you guys can figure some stuff out. You know, that's totally up to you. The, uh, let's see, where's that launch at? <clears throat> I think the launch is like a... Supposed to be tomorrow, like tomorrow morning. 
Shit, I wish, uh, wish I knew where the damn thing was. But yeah, the launch is supposed to be tomorrow morning. Yeah. So, you know, you guys can check out the description. Get that link, you know. And then, uh, you know, do your thing. If this is what you guys like, cool, run it. If not, you know, you can just move to another one. The homie was asking about champagne. You know, I made him wait all day. I apologize, big dog. But um, I looked through everything. And uh, the key notes on this is uh, it actually comes from, you know, that Bloody Mary Mojito ones. I don't know if you guys knew, like, Mimosa, all those other ones. So with that being said, like I always tell the homie, whenever a dap comes through, that comes from something else already established. You know, it kind of makes it a little more safe. You know, the, the shit's going to be here, you know, so... With that being said, everything else is the same. Um, <clears throat> they do have like you know anti measure, uh, anti whale measures, stuff like that, small things, but nothing too crazy, you know. Like this is, this is pretty much a, a regular farm. So if you guys like the uh, percentages or you guys want to bounce out, shh, this will be a good farm to jump into. The only caveat, like I say, you know, is this one they're running like champagne YFC from the other ones. So you know you got cocktail, all of those. They're pretty limited right here on the pool side. I, I know on the, I mean, right here on the farm side, on the pool side, I know you guys got, like, my favorite, which is cake down at the bottom. But, um, yeah, man, you just got a, a few over here. So, if this is something you guys you know, want to move around, you guys can. But, um, like I said, you know, you guys always want to check out the info. Make sure you guys are looking at everything. Make sure this is something for you. Also, check out Mojito, you know, Bloody Mary, the others, Mimosa. See how those farms did you know because this is coming from those guys so like i said they're rug pull prevention you know it's pretty chill as long as it's coming from something established you know it's, it's semi-safe right so like i said that champagne everything looks chill the, <clears throat> the i didn't see a uh harvest lockup you know so big dogs you know we're gonna be making some crazy moves all the other uh, big dogs in training like i said you know if you guys are gonna be in the pools just make sure you guys go ahead and you guys you know, know where you're at, what the percentage is, because you, can, you guys can already see the percentages are different based on where you're at, you know, whoever's using USDC, you know, they're going to start off with a higher percentage. And then um, since we're here real quick, you know, I'm not trying to stay only on champagne, but you know what, this APR, you know, seeing this uh, 2,000, you know, 2,400%, if you do the math, that's actually, uh, that's 100% an hour, bro. So if you don't understand what that means is if you are in here and there's no harvest lockup within the very first hour, let's say, you know, the very first hour that thing pops off, you know, it's possible that, you know, the price of the token could skyrocket. And if you can harvest within the first hour, just like we were talking about with spring, you can actually make some good amount of money. All right. Now, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say anything crazy or whatever it is, but. All I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, that's how these percentages work. So just in case you, uh, you guys, you know, wanted to do the math on that, you know, that, that's, that's what it's going to be. That's basically a hundred percent an hour. So, you know, you guys can figure out where you want to be in. Not all of these are going to have that percentage. Obviously once, once it gets close to game time, you know, these all drop down. If they have a whole bunch of people on it, they drop down. So, all right, but let's just, uh, let's keep it moving. All right. So, uh, next up. The homie was asking also Greyhound. So Greyhound's pretty chill. Um, they're, you know, like I said, they're a fork from Goose. Goose was chill. They had a lot of layer farming shit going on. So, you know, it's possible that they're going to be trying to do that if they can keep afloat, you know, because that's kind of like the main thing with all of these, you know, not all of them can keep afloat, you know. With uh, Greyhound, like I said, big dogs, there's no, uh, there's no harvest lockup. So... You know, take that uh, how, <laughs> however you guys want. Wink, wink and shit. But, yeah, man. You guys might want to play around with these. You know, they don't got my favorite KBNB, but it's all good. You know, we'll probably throw in some BNB, BUSD. If not, I'll probably be sneaky. And I'll probably run over here and get some dye because I know I got some dye. So, I can probably throw in the, the dye BUSD. I'm pretty sure, you know, this one or this one will be the ones that, you know, have a higher percentage. But, don't quote me on that. And then um, on pool side, you know, the pool sides are going to be cool. They have everything that's chill. They do have my baby, but um, you already know that one's going to be blown up. Auto heads, if you guys got auto, man, it's just sitting down in your wallets. You know, come over here, maybe drop it down. You know, Greyhound's pretty chill. It's uh, It doesn't have a bunch of, you know, fucking rug vibes or anything like that. But, you know, like I said, you always got to be 
careful with everything that you guys put in. Make sure you guys don't put in too much that you're willing, that, you know, you're afraid to lose, you know. However much you put in, if you lose it, you know, and basically your life is over, you know, that's a bad decision, all right? So make sure you all always play with the uh, capital. And then uh, with that being said, yeah, let's keep it moving, you know, Greyhound. It's going to be uh, popping out, I guess, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, which I think is, what, like Thursday or something, so... You know, if you guys like Greyhound, make sure you guys put that down on your radars, you know, two days. The link, of course, will be down in the description, you know. So make sure you guys um, save that shit like always, and then we'll keep it moving, all right? Lastly, the homie was asking about Dino. And uh, I told him I wanted to pass on this one, all right? And I'm going to tell you why, all right? So now, straight up, this is actually a good farm. Everything's cool about it, like... This is perfect. In fact, I'm going to jump into here and, you know, everyone else, big dogs, you know, I would suggest, you know, we all jump into here. Little dogs, I'm talking to guys who are like $50 and under. You might not want to be in here, all right? Now, I don't know if my homie's a little dog or whatever, but I'm only saying that because of this one theme. Their harvest lockup is not a timed fucking lockup, all right? Their harvest lockup is based on a minimum of what you farm so you know you, you might be saying all oh, 50 dino you know that might be nothing all right well if we look at some of the farms well, let's say if it was a uh, spring rolls you know boom I, I hit that home you know we're farming and i'm at you know 0.8 rolls you know and this is at two dollars you know so whatever you're farming you know if you tell me i have to wait till i got 50 rolls to harvest dude the price could be dead and gone by then and then i could of course be harvesting real quick you know if it's at 50 cents you know, same thing with if it's like Gator, you know, if it was Gator, cool, I could see, you know, obviously, if that's 14 cents, yeah, we're harvesting pretty quickly, you know, if you have a low numbers, mind you, that's what I'm trying to say, high numbers, <clears throat> yeah, dude, we're gonna smash the shit like it ain't shit, dude, I mean, this 50 dino at what, like, let's say $10, that still ain't gonna be nothing if, you know, you can be throwing 500 to 1,000, so, that, that ain't nothing, but like I always say, I always try to look out for everybody, you know, I'm not trying to just, you know, set people up and be like, yeah, this is going to be the shit. And then, you know, all the little big dogs in training, you know, they get stuck with the bag because they can't do shit, you know. So then they just basically threw in 4% of their deposit fee and they can't get it back because, you know, they have to sit here and wait a whole week or something. But, yeah, man, besides that, dude, like I said, everything else looks good. You know, they're going to be having a whole bunch of, um, I guess, like, shill. They're going to be doing whatever they can, you know, they already have good docks, everything's going to be running. Everything looks real cool, you know, the farms look chill, the staking farms look good. Um, the pools look, you know, like they're going to be fat, you know, they got a lot. So, like I said, they got my baby, that one's my favorite. So, as soon as this one goes live, like I said, I'm going to go over to, uh, what is it, Spring Rolls? Yeah, I got I got Cake B&B and Spring Rolls. Um, I'll probably most likely take out the uh, Bunny BUSD I have over the over there in a vanilla cake maybe switch that up to something else throw it over here maybe switch it to bnb busd or maybe go full dgen you know so um you know those are the moves all right the launch on this is fucking this week is next weekend bro so you know you guys can just sit back um just go ahead and uh, like i said link will be in the description in the comments just go ahead hit that link and then save it yo just save the bookmark and just chill you know if anything um, when you save the bookmark, when you click on it to save, just save, uh, put the name and then put like, you know, um, May 22nd. So that way, at least when you look at the bookmark, you can remember that, oh, that's when it launches. All right. So that's kind of something that I do. I'll, I'll bookmark these with the launch date. So, um, that being said, guys, man, this is why the longest video I've ever made. But, uh, yeah, man, once again, thanks for the 500 and you guys push that shit up. Like it was nothing. That's what's up. And then, uh, like I said, yo. Telegram group, man. I want to see the comments, y'all. I want to see what names you got. Otherwise, it's just going to be something regular, all right? But, um, yeah, yo. That's been my time. You know who it is. It's your boy, LA Crypto. If you guys like my con, you know, if you guys like these videos, go ahead and hit that like button. And then if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys already know, all right? Put them down at the bottom. I answer everybody. And, you know, I got a couple other little big dogs that are chilling right there. They'll answer you, too. They're real cool. I appreciate all you guys. Community's getting stronger, right? So, man, yeah, dogs. You guys ain't subscribed, man. Oh, hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> you already know, man. Y'all players stay up, all right?
Peace. Kinda got a bitch I lick. On my slime, we lick. Whole life, bad little bitch.